everybody, welcome back to Cottage Bleu. My name is Gabby and today I wanted to show you how I will be organizing my stickers for 2024. I want to start the video by thanking Georgina for her feedback on having good notes albums. Um, I have received this feedback in the past as well, but it's always a matter of finding the time to do it and uh, her comment was really motivating and encouraging to get it done and I'm actually very happy that I did. It only started as a little project to get the Christmas uh, stickers done for the season, but that also turned into me realizing that I need to seriously organize my stickers, because otherwise my planning is going to become more and more complicated. So without further ado, I will start by showing you these four new seasonal sticker kits that we have available at the shop, and these will be sticker books that are divided by season. If you have seen any of the videos on my CB planner, everything is very related to planning according to the seasons and kind of breaking down the year in seasons instead of in just timely quarters. So that's going to be quite a theme in my life next year. It has already been this year, but I didn't have the planner set up to support that as much as I wanted to. So I'm very happy to now have these things available, not only for you, but also for myself. So I will start with the winter one and you will have again one for each season. I kept them very minimal and very similar to the way the CV planner is created because I like things when they combine. So this is the main page in your planner. Everything is fully hyperlinked. So you have the index here with your monthly kits and you have four spaces to select your kit. Each of these ones is hyperlinked so you could jump straight to your kit. Um, you have space up there to select what month that's going to be for. And then you can go back to your main page and select your weekly kits. And the idea here is that you can put the name of the kit that you're getting so it's easier for you to find which kit you want to use when you could put a tick next to it once you have used it so you can keep yourself accounted on what you're purchasing but not using or what you have used and would like to use again so i left a space here for you to have 12 weekly kits and 12 journaling kits because it will depend on what type of kit you prefer for planning and also considering how many weeks you have in a season. Hopefully that will help you also avoid over purchasing and hopefully that can limit a bit the things that you purchase and you buy them with an intention and not just to put them in your cart and have them somewhere somehow. And I also have space for your essentials so on each season you will of course have some stickers that you will want to use continuously like birthday kits or date, month, scripts, anything like that and you can then put it under your essentials but it's also helpful because throughout the seasons you will be able to see which are the actual essentials you need for that season. Maybe an essential over winter is something Christmas related or something festive, um, maybe during your summer um, time it's vacation or vice versa or when not vice versa because you won't really get Christmas in summer unless you do which will be fine I won't judge you I love Christmas <laughs> then you also have space here for your glitter deco this is going to be a really big big thing for me because I'm loving making the glitter deco I love using it but again they will change um, according to the seasons I won't really need uh, maybe lots of florals and springy things over winter so that will also help you keep the sticker book without lagging that much because the more you fill it the more it will take to load and you also have space for other kits because maybe you want to use other things that I'm not aware of and you can just keep them there and categorize this as you wish. So again every single bullet is um, hyperlinked if I turn my pen on there we go and you also have the space to put your weekly kit name and also where you purchased it from so you can keep a bit of a log of where each kit belongs to because of course if you like a kit from a shop maybe in a couple of months you come back to that kit and you want to purchase something from the same shop and that is cool. The reason that I didn't add anything on these ones is because these are planning pages for your stickers. What does that mean? It's blank because 
you can use it for this or you can use it for storing different sticker kits or different things that are not categorized as I did before. My idea here is that sometimes you want to create a journaling spread, for example, and you want to use like five or six different kits and you may want to use only three of each kit. So having to jump back and forth from one kit to the other, it's quite annoying and it may affect your flow when you're planning. So I thought it would be nicer if you could have a couple of plans on the side. So you could put, for example, plan one and you could say uh, baby's birth or something, anything that you want really. And you can just drop here all the stickers that you want to use. So by the time you open your planner, you have all the stickers in one page. So you have eight of these and these are hyperlinked as well. If you want to go back to your index, you just click here at the top and that's how you do it. You can import the stickers individually to your album or you can also import an existing album within this one. So let's say for example for Glitter Deco in Winter I want to add here the newly uh, released sticker kits for winter. So I will just come here, I will click this plus and import and I will then select the sticker kit that I want to add there. And there we go, so I have now imported my sticker album within my existing one. And you will still have this main page that what you can do is simply copy this one. So let's say I don't want to or I don't need to keep this page. So what I'm going to do is just make a screenshot of it. There we go. So I am then just going to copy, go back to my um, winter album and paste it there. There we go. And wait, there. And I'm going to just delete this page. And that's that. So now if I go back to my main menu and I click on winter deco, I will go to this page. And then if I just swipe to the right, I will have my sticker with all the stickers already included there. So these are the albums that come already ready to use in GoodNotes. And if you use any other apps, you still have the PDF included and you can incorporate your own stickers. These albums are all hyperlinked within, so you don't need to uh, find the stickers <laughs> randomly. You can just go page by page and you also have them separated by the ones that have the white outline and by color too. If you want to go back to your main page or the index in your um, seasonal sticker album, just do the following. We are going to create an outline and I'm going to select oh, there. I'm going to add page to outline and I'm going to put index. Oh, actually, sorry, I don't want that one. Ah, sorry, this is the one that I want. And we're going to call it index. There we go. So now if I am here and I don't want to be swiping right until I make it to my album, I can just go here, select outlines and click on index. And that's it. Now, if I want to do that again, you can also bookmark it. And if, let's say, you are within your album, you can then just click the four things and you will jump straight to your index. So that's a quicker way of making it back to this page if you are already within another kit. So what I wanted to do is to bring in a kit that I don't have in an album, so I will import it directly to this one because I want to use it to set up my planner for 2024. And that will be the kit called New Beginnings. And I will, I'm not very sure if I will do weekly kits or journaling kits with albums in GoodNotes because 
I just I just really don't have the time for that at this point with my full-time job, social life and everything going on. But it's an idea that I will keep there <laughs> in case we can actually implement that at some point. So this is a very nice kit and I wanted to use it to set up my planner for next year because it's all very much related to reflecting and taking time to slow down um, and I think that's a nice way of starting the year so I will just bring here again this one The digital stickers that I make are actually a combination of weekly and journaling, so I will just have them all in the weekly to make my life easier. Now, for example, for this kit, of course, if I go to the next page, this is a different kit. So what I will do to keep this sticker going is just add a page Wait. and just insert the current template. I will copy again what I have here just to make sure that I'm still within the same kit. There we go, so to navigate through each um, kit you will need to scroll down with your hand um, to do that. If you import an album that is already, hy already hyperlinked, then you could just use the hyperlinks within that album. And then I will just import as well some of my deco items. Um, actually, let's just do the frames. Oh! This is nice. I will have some new things added to the digital kits and well, not some, just these three. <laughs> so you normally would get these ones, which are the normal um, stripes, but now I'm also doing these ones that are very nice to use as a highlighter or just to overlay with other things. I think they're also nice if you want to put one behind the other or something like that. So. I've been wanting to have those for a while, so I finally just just did it. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, you go back. So if you're wondering if the other seasonal albums are the same, they are exactly the same, they function exactly the same. It's just a different decor in the front and a slight different decor at the top in your index here. So I hope you like them. If you have any feedback, please let me know because I do like knowing what you think and what you think will be more useful because that also helps me to find better ways of planning and be more efficient at it. So that's great and I will then see you in my next video. I think for the next couple of videos you will have probably a bit of an overload of me setting up my planner for 2024 because I'm very excited about a bunch of things that I did to be able to use them myself but I'm also happy that I made them available so you can enjoy them if you like them. I hope I will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye bye!